Hello everybody and welcome to the seventh Python programming with Flask and general web development tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about the dashboard which is basically this right here. So this is the crux of this website, this is where all the logic is and this is the main uh, quote unquote web app uh, for my website. So let's get started. So first of all, what we need is we, we need to have our header file, which we've already created the header file. We've just done nothing with it. And then we'll have dashboard actually, uh, I want to say inherit from it, but it, it's going to extend using Flask lingo the header file. So first let's make this header. So what we need to do is we're going to take main.html and I'm going to just go ahead and highlight all, copy, come over to dashboard, or no, I'm sorry, header, and paste. Now what we're going to do is within our body, uh, we're going to, we'll keep this div here, and let's get rid of, because again, this is our header. So what we want to do is we're going to keep that div, we'll delete, every, we'll delete the video within it. Uh, we'll keep the scripts because those are going to be necessary. Uh, and then what we're going to do is height 100% and instead of just height we're going to say min height 100% so it can be taller if it needs to be uh, and then we're also going to we'll convert this to a container fluid and now what we're going to do is first of all we can do we're going to add some logic here so we've got uh, block body and then we're going to do basically some more logic. And then we have end block. Now what this is, is this is Flask code. And this is for when we do an extension, uh, which we're about to do for dashboard. So I'll show you a little bit more about that in a moment. Now the only other thing I want to go ahead and have us add real quick is this border row. So right now um, you can see that let's just save this real quick and now we're just going to let's just add the border row and I'll, I'll point it out in a moment so it's going to be a div class equals and it's border dash row and then whoops style equals width colon 100 percent and then we're going to add a bit of a margin so margin dash bottom colon 15 pixels and that's it and then we'll go ahead and close off that div so this is our header file and now we can come over to our dashboard and we're not going to add too much right now to this dashboard but for now this is going to extend or or what I would want to call inherit from the header uh, but it's going to extend it and so to extend we're going to use some logic here and it's going to be extends and then you put in quotes what it extends. This one extends header.html. And again, extends is going to search for templates within the templates directory. So if it's extending a template that's, say, in templates uh, footer, let's say, uh, you would add the footer in here. So you footer slash. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Uh, and I'm going to go and delete footer because we're not actually going to use that. But it's extending header.html. And then we're going to use the same uh, text here. So block body and block. We're going to do again here block body. And basically block body is going to go all the way to the very uh, end where you would have end block. So you've got block body and then... Uh, and block, oops, and block. And then here we could just have maybe some quick paragraph tags and say, hello, okay, oops, almost knocked over my water. Save that, that's dashboard, it's extending header.html, our header.html was a copy and paste of our other uh, page there. So everything should be fine up to this point. Let's check, refresh, good. So we can see that our um, the init.py that we have is, uh, where are you? Here you are. Uh, right here, it is 
dashboard and it returns the template dashboard.html which is this this is all that template is but it has successfully extended this template entering basically all of the content on dashboard right here between the block body and it's enforcing this 100% although you don't really see it because we don't have a footer at the moment but it's there uh, one more thing is let's see the border row for whatever reason appears to not be appearing what are you? That is weird. I thought that was all we needed for a border, um, like a line in the border. What am I missing? Let me go, let's go back here. And because we want that, I do want that border row. <laughs> uh, let's see, you've got dashboard, we'll keep scrolling down. Do, 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 do. Okay, it would be. Yeah, would it wouldn't it not be this right here? Let's let's just copy this from the website and we will come over here, paste, save that. That is header. Fresh ah it's odd. I uh, would like to know what the dealio is there. <laughs> um okay, well I'll look into that and see what the heck is happening here? I don't really know why that would happen. That's very frustrating to have. Anyways, um, I'd like to have it, but we'll just ignore that for now. It's not essential, and I'm tired of HTML at this point. And so we're going to continue along. So AppRoot, Dashboard, okay, cool. So now what do we want to do? Well, now at this point, we want to have, uh, we know we have all this content that we want. Of course, now we've got to return it, you know, HTML, whatever. So we're gonna go to get bootstrap and we are looking for uh, those tabs. I'm hoping I can just scroll through and see them. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're in, let's do uh, nav, da oops, over here. Nav dash tabs, okay. Not those tabs is not what we want. Maybe it's these. Yeah, these are the tabs that we want. Okay, so food truck fixie. <laughs> uh, raw denim, you probably have. It's interesting, uh, random text they have here. So this is this toggleable tabs, tab.js, uh, which means we'll have to probably include that. It's been a while since I wrote it. Uh, and so we have this. This is our tab content. Let's, let's just copy and paste this markup that they have here. So copy. We'll come over here, we'll come to our dashboard, and we'll just paste in those tabs that they've given to us. Thank you, thank you. Let's see if they work. Okay, the tabs at least work. I don't see the uh, fade effect, but it looks like I see it right down here. Uh, so let me just copy and paste that again. So the fades will come back over here. It's right under it. So now in the tab content, you just add fade, and you have an active tab, which is you know your starting tab. So we'll come back over here, and that was all the div. So we'll just do this. Boom. Save that. Refresh. I assume it would fade, but it is just we've got no content, and I don't see our. Oh, there it is, right here. So we do have our uh, dot dot dot, but it is over. And I think what's happening is that's because of our center. Do we have a cent Yeah. So we've got this align center nonsense. Uh, let's get rid of that. We don't need to be centering any alignment. Uh, and then, um, I wonder if that's what was causing our prop. No, because we were right above that. Let me re let's refresh this one last time. There we go. At least this stuff is over here now. Uh, min height, and let's say, let's see if we can get away with width 80% for now. Okay, so uh, we'll, we'll come back to that as well. I hate dealing with CSS and stuff, so <laughs> anyway. Um, so at least we have the tabs here. We see that it is fading these dot, dot, dots for us. So now we want to talk about how do we actually add content to these tabs. So right now they say home profile messages settings. Let's let's change those. So we'll come, uh, we'll save header. We'll just leave header alone for a while. We'll refresh this. Okay, still working. So now we come over here. And so the way this works is you've got the href, which is pound home, and then you've got home here, and then 
this is just the the name that goes on the tab but then you'll want to change home and home here to be identical to basically home wherever this ID is so instead of home well let's call this basics and then we'll literally just call these basics as well the little hashtags uh, and then the aria controls basics basics and then uh, basic stuff here okay we've got basics let's do uh, web dev so we'll call that w dev copy paste paste and we'll say web dev and let's just get rid of settings I don't feel like doing an, a third or a fourth one and then finally we'll do uh, data analysis and we'll call it Dan for data analysis paste 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 and then uh, data analysis okay so save uh, hopefully those at signs don't screw us over nope okay so now you can see that okay we've got these tabs we've got custom content in the tabs awesome now what we want to do is actually work on our content management uh, system and that's going to be how do we actually populate these tabs with content and then not only that but how do we maybe manipulate it over time so of course we could come in and we could say that the basics tab first let's delete this we're going to make some space here because each tab is going to contain some stuff so now of course we could come in and we could add some tags here for unordered list and then we could add, you know, list, oops, not lie, list item slash list item. And then we could have uh, copy that, paste, paste, uh, part one, part two, and part three. And we could really just, you know, hand write all of this stuff that's within here. We can make them links into the tutorial. But the problem is, for let's say in a week you decide you want to add more stuff, you want to take away, maybe you want to reorganize this whole table. So to an extent, you, you want to have some sort of content management system in the back end or the background that kind of drives what shows here. Plus, we are using Python. The whole point of using Python is to use logic where we can to generate the HTML. So that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video is how we're going to build a content management system to take, say, a list of topics, some URLs, organize them for us and link to the pages in a very custom manner. Uh, so that's what we'll be talking about uh, in the next video. If you do have any questions or comments up to this point, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until the next video.